Okay. How are you today? I'm awesome. We've just checked in, so we're very excited to be staying at the Avengers Marvel Hotel. Yeah. So excited. No, I stayed here, but it was just after COVID, so we had to wear masks. So we're excited to be allowed to have photos without the masks on this time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're right. now Monday the 8th of January it's the second day of this trip um, we're in the Disneyland B&B a part and hotel of Disneyland Paris but that was just for one night and you might be able to tell by my Captain America ears and my Avengers t-shirt that we're moving to the Hotel New York today so we're very excited about that I haven't stayed at the Hotel New York um, for a couple of years since it opened I'm um, going to stay there for two nights and take full advantage of everything in the hotel and we have the selfie spots and the character meet and greet booked for 10.30 this morning so that's how we'll start the day we're going to have breakfast at the B&B here because it's included and then probably get an Uber with our luggage to Hotel New York and see what we can get done today so the Hotel B&B has a game room so it's got this nice little statue of Mario outside and inside you've got a pinball machine of Godzilla. Godzilla! I love Godzilla. You've got a lovely grab machine for your kids to waste all their money on. You have to get tokens here to play the machines. There's some of those cute little, you can get little toys like those Japanese things, I forget what it's called. And it costs one token and you get a little toy out of there. It looks like lipstick, it's very cute. You've got a lovely air hockey game. That's a really big table there for air hockey. That looks really good. You've got a foosball table soccer game here. Let's have a look. That looks cool. You've got some motorbike riding games. You've got Mario Kart, where you can sit in these lovely chairs and play Mario Kart. Some plushy grab machines. So yeah, all in all, this looks like a really nice arcade. We're just going into Les Al, the snack bar for breakfast. I think it's a buffet breakfast. And you're not allowed to take any bags in here because they don't want you concealing food in your bag. There's a slight queue. It's now quarter to eight in the morning, but not much of a queue. And like it says here, no bags. Thank you. There's the breakfast area and the seating. Looks like there's a little kids play area there in the restaurant, which is always good. I don't know where the food is. Where's the food? Okay. There's a TV area in here. There's a bar. And lots of seating. We're coming up to the breakfast stuff, so I'll film what we've got in here. This is the suggestion of the day to have a croissant and some cold meats. We have got salad, which is an interesting choice for breakfast. Salad, an orange, 
We've got all the breads. Over here you've got drink machines, you can have hot drinks, you can have hot chocolate, you can have fruit juice and there's a microwave if you want to heat anything up. Over here we've got yogurts, butter, apple sauce, jams, Nutella, croissants. So here they've got actual cake for breakfast. I'm not sure what flavour cake. It looks like maybe lemon cake, maybe ginger cake, and some more bread. There's a lot of bread and a lot of pastries. And over here, they've got a lot of pan chocolat, pano chocolats. So yeah, mostly pastries and bread and no hot food, I would say, for breakfast. We've got cereals, got cornflakes, got alpen, got chocolate cereal, got milk, we've got some bread, some sort of hard toast stuff, bread rolls, normal sliced bread, and a toaster. Here we've got cold meats, I don't know if my camera's picking that up, cold meats and cheese. Jenny's looking at the gluten free stuff, it's telling you what the allergy menu is. There's some fresh apples here which is nice, I like some fresh fruit. And then the food all repeats itself down the other side and the drinks. So that's basically breakfast. So this is what I've picked for breakfast, an apple, some jam, some bread, some cold meat, some coffee, and a yogurt. And Jenny's gone for the gluten free stuff, so she's picked up the gluten free options. It's quite a nice breakfast, and it's included in the price, but there is nothing hot, it's all cold breakfast items. So outside the restaurant, there's this outside area which isn't set up at the moment because it's too cold, has a couple of kids play equipment they could just bounce on and it has a courtyard, an enclosed courtyard where you could sit at the chairs and tables and eat or have a drink if you want but at the moment it's absolutely freezing so it's not being used and then opposite that there's a courtyard, it's still got the Christmas tree up some grass flower beds and things like that a few christmas decorations at the moment and this is just like an enclosed courtyard with all the rooms all around and the corridor and over there if i zoom in a little bit those are the windows to the reception and check-in area there's a carousel in reception for kiddies and you just have to put some money in the slot to make it work it is two euros to make the carousel go around, which is cute. So that's basically the reception area and just the doors to outside where the shuttle bus is. So yeah, there's everything you need. We're gonna head back to our room now and check out. So we're just here for one night. So having slept in the room now in the B&B, I can tell you that the bed was reasonably uncomfortable. The pillows were strange and uncomfortable. The bed was strange and uncomfortable. Not a very nice mattress. But you know, you get what you pay for. It was quite cheap to stay here. It's quite good value. We only booked it for one night and I wouldn't want to stay here longer than one night really. But it was okay. It was okay. And now it's daylight. I can show you the view out the windows. So we've got one window here between the single beds which has a view of the lake which is over there, a little lake and there are some houses and we've just got some lawn and grass out there so that's quite a nice view out of that window. Out of this window we've basically got some people's back gardens more or less that live near here I would say so there's more grass there and then yeah back gardens of people that live near here 
And that's the view we've got. We're right at the end block of the hotel on the very ground floor. Here's Jenny. I'm going to get her to give her opinion of the room and the bed and everything. What did you think? You did sleep quite well. Yeah, I slept. She slept, slept on this so bed. Okay. And it was okay. The pillars are a bit odd. Yeah, I think the pillows are odd. Like, one's like half a pillow. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know whether to have one pillow, two pillow. I couldn't get comfy with the pillows. That My mattress wasn't good. I kept mm. sliding off it and it was a bit hard and uncomfortable. I don't know what yours was like. One's all right. I mean, yeah. for the money, what, you think this hotel's okay? Yeah, it's all right for one night. But we wouldn't want to stay yeah. in more than one oh, night, so no. Oh, have a lock on the bathroom. Oh, there's no lock on the bathroom. So if you're with people and you prefer to lock <laughs> the bathroom, you can't. Just let everyone know when you're in there so they don't barge in on you. But basically, yeah, we had an okay night here. Yeah. We were only here 12 hours, the <laughs> breakfast included. We're not complaining. It was good. And yeah, we're just packing up and checking out now. And it is 10 past nine in the morning. So Jenny has now tried the chocolate mocha coffee from the machine and because it cooled off a bit and she said it's very, very nice. Yeah. It's a decent size, a very nice, it's worth the price. And she wants us to play a game of can you guess which hotel we are now moving to? Uh, let's see, she's got a <laughs> Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel lounge fly. She's got a Incredible Hulk Avengers hoodie on. She's got Marvel lanyard. She's got Marvel ears. Are we going to stay at the Hotel New York today, Jenny? Uh, yes. <laughs> See, I guessed it. Well, I should have guessed it because I booked it. Okay, so we're going to get an Uber to the Marvel Hotel now. Happy days. So this is the way in and out of the B&B. &B. We're going to get an Uber, but you can get your buses out here if you want to. This is the bus stop out here and the car park. We've decided to get an Uber today because we have luggage and we're going to check in the Marvel Hotel. This is the front of the hotel in the daylight. It was dark last night when we arrived. So it's actually very slightly snowing, which is quite cool. And there's Jenny just calling our uber on her phone start spreading the news we've arrived at the hotel new york there's a new york yellow taxi cab we've got an uber to drop us at the back of the hotel new york which is also near the baggagery the hotel's still got its christmas decorations up so they look sparkly and amazing we're going to drop our luggage in the baggagery, check in, and go to the Marvel selfie spot area. How exciting is that? Let's go. Here's the back of the hotel where we're going to go in. Even the luggage trolley has the amazing Art of Marvel Hotel detail on it. And some lovely an Iron Man carving hello bonjour. hello bonjour here's a lovely Captain America etching on the outside of the hotel and the nice porter has just taken our bags and checked them in we go through here through security then we should be at reception ready to check in I'm excited we've come in the beautiful lobby of the Hotel New York the Art of Marvel with the lovely hidden Mickey Captain America shields, the beautiful Skyline bar, which we'll no doubt be going in later on tonight, perhaps. Not open at the moment, so it's still early. The lovely Iron Man suits of armor. Amazing cartoon animated windows. And they've still got the Christmas decorations up, which are amazing. And here is the reception. Time to check in. So we have just checked in and we're quite disappointed that we were given the old style 30th anniversary out of date room keys. 
because we wanted Marvel themed room keys. I mean, when you're staying at a hotel that's four or five hundred pounds a night on the cheapest night, you really do expect to get a themed room key. But she said they don't have any. Luckily, we've both stayed here before and we have the Marvel themed room keys at home. But if we didn't, that would be extremely disappointing. Also, the room tax is now eight euros something a night because I just added Jenny to the room for room tax. And previously it was two euros something. So it is almost four times what it was, the room tax. And they said that is due to the Olympics and the government cashing in on tourists. So if you're expecting the room tax to be low, it's not. It's now eight euros something. And the room tax for the Disneyland Hotel is going to be even more. So we're in the beautiful Hotel New York. Those are the lovely covers of comics some lovely unique artwork and this is the Empire State Club check-in although we haven't got Empire State Club lovely Sonia's there hello, <laughs> hello. Oh, what do you want to <laughs> okay this I was is, like doing something okay, else. this is the lovely Sonia. <laughs> she is on Empire State Club reception and she was one of the candidates for the ambassador. Yes. And you made it to the final six, was it final? Semi finals. Semi finals. We semi -finals. Were on the 10, yeah. And I wanted her to win, but you know, <laughs> two good people won, but I wanted it to be Sonia. <laughs> but she's very friendly and nice, Hotel New York. And we just popped in to say hi on our way to the um, Marvel Superhero Station. So, hi, Sonia. <laughs> this is the Superhero Station, where you go inside to meet a superhero and take pictures at the selfie spots. We have an appointment for 10.30, so we're going to go in there now. We're coming in the Superhero Station. Bonjour, hello. Oh, it's Captain Marvel. Brilliant. Hi, Captain Marvel. Hi. Can we just going to put our stuff? Absolutely. Make yourself at home. We've got all the stuff. Oh, you do? We've got, like, um, coat. It's so cold outside. We've got to bring all the coats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How are you today? I'm awesome. We've just checked in, so we're very excited to be staying at the Avengers Marvel Hotel. Absolutely. So excited. Is this your first visit here? No, I stayed here, but it was just after COVID, so we had to wear masks. Oh, I so see. we're excited to be allowed to have photos without the masks on. Oh, I see. Well, we were this all time. Undercover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, your idea is not that. Good job. So we'll get some pictures. So we're at the Doctor Strange selfie spot and we're going to come in here and have some photos together and if they come out good I'll insert them. There's Captain Marvel over there doing a photo thing <laughs> and yeah we're going to take some pictures in here. This one is Spider-Man's bedroom. So Spider-Man's bedroom, you take the pictures and then you flip your photo upside down and it looks like you're hanging from the ceiling. So we're going to do that one next. So this photo station is the Falcon, the Royal Talon of Wakanda. This is different to when I came before. When I came before, that one was Doctor Strange casting his magic portals. So this one has changed since I came before. This is the Thor photo spot. You have to try and pull his hammer out of the rock. And if you can pull it out, you're worthy. So we're gonna do that picture now. And next to that is Falcon from Wakanda's photo spot. Definitely used to be Doctor Strange, this one, uh, but they've changed it to Falcon. So we're gonna do some pictures here. This is the Captain Marvel selfie spot. And you can stand here and get a picture like Captain Marvel. We're gonna do that one next. 
This one is Ant-Man and the Wasp, where it makes you take a quantum pin particle and shrink down or get really big. So we're going to do some pictures here. This is the Iron Man selfie spot. You stand in his boots and you get to have an Iron Man picture. It's got some special effects going on right now. Very cool. The final photo station is Guardians of the Galaxy box where you can get inside the box and have your picture taken. Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's a really cool one. And it is now Black Widow meeting people. So we had fun at the selfie spots, taking our pictures. I'm sure I'll insert some in the vlog here. And now we're going to try and do an animation class with our friend, cast member, what's his name? And something? Anyway, we made friends with a cast member who's doing this class, so we're going to try and head for the drawing class. So that way is the Bleecker Street lounge. Still got the Christmas trees up. And we're headed for the animation drawing class. We're just going to come past where the pool is and the lifts. It's called Kids Club, but it's actually got an animation drawing class and they let adults do it as well. So we're going to try and get in here, see if we can do it. So we're here at the design studio, hoping we're not too late to learn to draw some Marvel cartoons. I think he's going to let us in. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to get you on my vlog. This is Aaron, our very friendly cast member. Welcome. Going to help us to learn to draw Marvel characters because he's really good at it. It's normally just for kids, but he said we can have a go at it. So this is like the kids club, really. But we're going to have a go at learning to draw a character with Aaron. So in here, there's a game and you can play like a quiz game how well do you know Iron Man things like that just little fun interactive things for kids this one's in French but you know you can change it to English if you want what is Iron Man's real name Tony Stark then it tells me yes I was right it's Tony Stark stuff like that so yeah just a fun room to hang out in the kids activity room so we did the Marvel Animation Studio for a bit and now we're all bundled up because it's actually snowing outside headed to the park. We'll be back later when our room's ready. So there's something curious going on over here with these wooden boxes. We're going to get to the other side and see what's happening. Very curious, giant wooden boxes with a door in. We have no clue what they are. Oh, maybe it's for filming the drone show. They're going to set their cameras up and point them to the sky. That's what I think. It's for filming the drone show. That's what I reckon. It's now 11.28. We've entered the main park. And although Christmas season is finished, the Christmas decorations are still on Main Street Station today. And there's clearly a construction fence around the tree and the Christmas decorations in Town Square. So I think they must be taking them down bit by bit. So as you come into the park, there's a construction fence around the tree and the Christmas decorations, which is going to really limit where you can see the new drone show tonight, because already the hub is going to be blocked off for VIPs and inside ears. So I hope we can get a spot tonight. The paddy wagon is still decorated for Christmas. Some Christmas decorations are down, like the lampposts and City Hall, and some are still up. So outside the shop, we have new windows for a new Disneyland Paris collection. So let's go inside and have a look. Straight away we can see some new ears. They have Stitch on and Disneyland Paris. And then there's a gigantic hooded fleece with Disneyland Paris on the front. 
and Mickey Bonjour Eiffel Tower on the back and the hood has Mickey ears. There's a new kids t-shirt which is 16 euros, a new adult t-shirt which is 36 euros and there's new setting for this collection. They've got some glasses, some chocolates, some tins of biscuits by the look of it, tins of sweets, little Paris chocolate. This will be really popular for people coming to the Olympics, I think, to buy this stuff with Disneyland Paris all over it. So this is in Flora's. This navy blue t-shirt adult is 26. This children's one, blue with stitch, is 16. And there's the ears again. Jenny's buying all the merch. The lounge fly is 90. The fleece is 60, I think. And the t-shirt is, let's see, 26. And the ears are 25, I think. And she's got another autograph book. How much is that one? Ten. Ten. So Jenny's having a buy of some stuff. There's a new fridge magnet you can put a picture in. How much is that one? Nine. Nine euros. And we can send all of this back to the hotel because we're staying at Hotel New York. So she won't have to carry it around all day. So this is a close-up of the lounge fly. It has some kind of glittery stuff in the bottom. So that wasn't the best demonstration. And the ears are like sort of firework display ears. On the back it says bonjour and it has Mickey and Minnie. So yeah, nice new lounge fly. The lounge fly is 90 euros. This scarf is 25. Yeah, I think that's all of the new merch for you. So after looking at the new merch, we've come to Walt Disney Studios, but it blocked my ticket because it thought that I'd been between two parks too quickly. So I had to get my ticket unblocked, which was a pain. But now we're headed to see the Together Show. Studio One is going to be closed soon. It's still Christmassy at the moment. They're going to close it for renovations. So you'll have to enter the studios another way. But for now, it's still open. And it's still Christmassy. As you come out of Studio One, you'll notice that the flower bed and the Walt and Mickey partner statue is gone because it's the start of the renovations. Wish is up there on the studio and we're going to head left to see the Together show. So it's not actually as cold as it was yesterday, although we have had some snow this morning. It's been very mild snow flurries and it's not as cold as it was yesterday before it snowed so here is the studio theater has the together show and we reserve tickets actually for the 12:40 showing so we're headed in there now in we go to see together we're not allowed to film the show at all but we can film walking in and the theater for you the musical pixar ensemble rendons cette expérience unique afin de préserver l'émotion de cette aventure Merci de ne pas utiliser. Mickey Balloons are struggling in the wind. So we just popped into the cinema, inside the cinema. We're not going to see a film, but they have this gigantic inflatable star from the new Wish movie. So we just took some pictures with it. If you're here and you want a photo, you can just pop in the cinema, the IMAX and have some pictures you don't need to be going into a film to do that it's very cool so we've just come out of the cinema and i've noticed the christmas huts have gone this was selling pretzels and biscuits and christmas stuff yesterday and now gone oh my goodness i wonder if the other ones have gone as well so yeah absolutely no snack booths just a mark left on the ground where they were the christmas snack booths are gone and it looks really bare around here now really bare what a shame it's snowing let it snow let it snow let it snow 
So we've come back into the superhero selfie station. It's absolutely empty in the afternoon because there's no superhero in the afternoon after about 1.30. So they said we could just come back in and take whatever selfies we want. So we've come back in for another go. There's Jenny taking pictures of herself on the backdrop. <laughs> selfies. And yeah. There's me in the mirror. Higher, further, faster. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spins webs like a spider can. Look, it's totally empty. You can see all the cool thingies on the floor. Brilliant. Got all these sound effects going on and explosions. What's the Marvel Challenge? Maybe we need to do the Marvel Challenge. I don't know. Yeah, so really cool. We're getting another go in here just to take photos. So the superhero meet today is Fairy Godmother. So our room is on Gramercy Park level and room 111. Here's the room tour. It's a room that's technically for three people. So it has a big double bed and a sofa bed that looks like it could be for two people, but they describe it as for one person. So at the end of the bed here, there's a kind of seat you can sit on. If you just want to sit on and put your shoes on or just have a rest or something. And then there's this absolutely incredible piece of artwork of Black Panther on the wall here. I haven't seen that artwork before, it's amazing. Over the bed you've got these superb modern lights and next to the bed you've got loads of power socket light switch, things like that. And then over here you've got a beautiful long desk with lots and lots of powerpoints on it you've got a british one a continental one more continental ones usbs and other ones and then in the mirror you can see welcome family read the tv is in the mirror how cool is that it says press ok to begin That's the TV in the mirror. It says watch TV, get connected, my hotel. Okay, let's have a look, my hotel. And then you've got all these options to click on about your hotel, leisure activities, superhero station, Marvel design studio, discovery quest, Mobius Mind Bender, Metro Pool, Sauma and Steam Room. There you go, that's all the leisure activities. And the TV's in the mirror. We love it. And there's me in the mirror. So we also have another unique piece of artwork over here, which is the wonderful Captain Marvel. I haven't seen that piece of artwork again either. Incredible. We've got a beautiful chair with a lovely New York skyline pillow on it. And again, this is the sofa bed that one of us can sleep on and a little coffee table. And then in between the beds, we noticed that we've got a Marvel Hotel notebook given to us and a Disneyland Paris pen. So I haven't seen those before, so that was a nice little bonus. And then over here, we've got the Lavazza coffee machine, two bottles of water and a kettle. 
and in here they've given us coffee pods, coffee creamer, sugar, tea bags, all of that. We've got some glasses and an ice bucket. In the cabinet underneath the coffee machine is our fridge. Fridges are in all the rooms. It's quite a substantial size fridge for a drinks fridge. Got some com compartments in the door. So that is the fridge. Then they've given us a book explaining all the things you need to know as a guest. They've given us the Daily Bugle, which is actually the map of the hotel disguised as a Marvel newspaper. And this is just the really cool envelope that our room details were on. So it's all really nice theme to the hotel. Now we paid for a garden terrace room, so let's take you out to the garden terrace. Okay, we have a door here to the outside and our garden terrace faces the wonderful superhero gym, sort of outdoor gym, basketball play area, which is amazing. So I'm going to film it back the other way for you. So this is our room in the centre here with the door open. We've got lovely two chairs and a little table. We've got a door to our room. We're on the ground floor. And yeah, that way is the outdoor pool, which we won't be using, but we'll probably use the indoor metro pool. There's Jenny exploring. <laughs> And there is the sort of gym area. We're going to go and look at that in a second. I'm going to take you back inside and show you the bathroom because that's really nice as well. The bathroom's here. Oh, there's a full length mirror. There's storage space. And in this cupboard, we've already put a coat, but you can see there's quite a substantial safe there and some drawers for more belongings so loads of good storage spare blankets and pillows up here so now coming into the bathroom we have a lovely sink vanity area with good lights all around it hi Liz a sort of shaving slash makeup mirror we've got these amazing little funky taps. We've got some Hotel New York toiletries. I think that one is a shower cap and that one is some soap. And then we have a shower over the bath and also the toiletries, a big bottle of shampoo in the middle, some conditioner, some shower gel, funky cool mixer taps. A nice big bath. I don't know if you can see the bath there. We've got loads of big fluffy towels. They're nice and soft. So in this part is just the loo in this little slightly separate compartment. And yeah, that's the bathroom. So since I did the room tour, we had a lovely man come and make up the spare bed, which is the sofa bed. Another lovely guy came and delivered our suitcases from the baggagery for us. And another one came and gave us robes and Hotel New York slippers for when we go to the pool and things or the sauna. So I'll show that First to you. of all, this is what the sofa bed looks like when it's made up. It's a nice double bed. They came and made it for us. This is the robes and slippers on the bed. And for a better look at the robes and slippers, I got them out over here. So you've got Hotel New York on the slippers and we're allowed to keep those. You can just ask for them to be delivered to your room. And we didn't get a proper Hotel New York robe, but we got a plain toweling robe to wear when we go swimming because um, apparently it's only Empire State Club where you get the Hotel New York robes or if you've got a suite or something like that. So we got plain toweling robes, but that was nice. You just ask and I'll deliver it to your room. And then there's our luggage, which the bellhop man delivered. So yeah, really great service here. We're loving it. 
So we want to go and have a look at the outdoor gym. So we've had to come to the pool to ask them to unlock it for us. This is all blocked off, no entry, but we want to look at the outside gym. So we're just going to hopefully get out there in a minute. So we just asked if we can have this outdoor gym unlocked because it's all locked and closed off. But they said no because of the snow and ice, it's too slippery. So they don't open that in dangerous weather when the surface can be slippery. So we're hoping maybe tomorrow if it's a bit warmer, we might be able to get out there and explore the outside gym basketball court area but for now yeah we can't get in it unfortunately because of the weather so it's quite cold I'm waiting for my friend Steph outside um, World of Disney and it's about 6 30 in the evening on Monday and then we're gonna go and watch the new season of colors drone show over the castle hopefully the weather won't prevent it happening it's on about 7 30 7 50 and yeah I'm not sure I don't think I'm gonna vlog that but it's on until September 30th. You can really see it's been snowing because Teletubby Hill has got everybody's footprints on it outside the old planet Hollywood that's going to be ripped down. Snowy, snowy Teletubby Mount. So Hotel New York is looking so Christmassy. It's like proper New York. It's snowing. Do you see the snow on the Iron Man bauble? The snow on the Captain Marvel bauble? The snow on the Christmas tree, the snow on the crazy Groot on crack cocaine, bubble. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All the weather outside is frightful. Here it's so delightful. Dee da da, dee da do. 
Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So it's snowing. We want to see our little garden in the snow. <gasps> the chairs are covered in snow. The stool is covered in snow. Oh, can you see how it's snowing? Look, if I show you underneath this light, you can maybe see the snow under the light. You can see the snow on the path. You can see the Jenny taking photos over there on the snowy path. Can you see our garden furniture covered in snow? It's dark, but we're, we're not sure how much snow is going to be left in the morning. But right now, there's quite a bit of snow. I'm going to take you over here in the little woods behind our room and where the outdoor pool is. Snowing! Actual snow. I've never been in Disneyland Paris before when it actually snowed. Here comes Jenny back through the woods. Whoa! A bird <laughs> chomping through the snow. Go on, Jenny. Oh, we love it. We're not sure if there'll be any snow left in the morning, but if there is, we'll film it for you guys.